And now it's odd, but let's embed our Revit models in our PowerPoint slides and reports. First of all, you need to download the Speckle connectors. You have to go to the connectors and download the Revit connector. And also you have to have a Speckle account, which is a platform for 3D data. We will have more videos in future about this one, but right now we just want to focus on the process uh, to embed our Revit models into our PowerPoint and update them. Let's go in here. When you install the uh, Revit uh, Speckle connector, you will have a, you will have the collect connector in here. Now let's go to the connector and let's open a project in here. Now let's go to the advanced mode and let's create a stream in here or in a simple word, let's create a project for ourselves and let's name it, for example, R2P or Revit to PowerPoint. Click on create and create the stream. Now when you have the stream, you're in the right stream here. Now you just need to click on send and wait and you're good to go. Now our model has sent to the web version of Speaker. Let's go to our Chrome or any uh, browser you use and then you need to uh, register or log in. But before that you have register. So now you log into your account. And now let's go to the uh, streams or all of the streams that we have. Let's go to the streams. Now we've created this stream. Let's see it in action on the browser and let's see the latest comment, which is, which in simple word means latest version. And now let's select it and let's see the results in here. And you can see it will work like uh, any online viewer that which help you in model, in viewing your model on internet. You can use some uh, options in here. For example, you can filter some of the objects. Let's filter our rooms in here. Let's find the rooms and let's uh, turn them off. Now, but I'm not going to spend that uh, bunch of time in here. You can use any option that you want. It's kind of a Autodesk viewer. But the main option that we have is you need to click on share in here and make sure to turn on the link sharing on because it will allow you to embed your model in anywhere or it will allow you to share the links and other people can view it. But in here we have a link, just copy this link. You can do that with iframe too, but it's a lot of headache there. So let's just copy this. And now let's go to the PowerPoint. You can use PowerPoint on the web or other offline or desktop PowerPoint too. Let's go to the PowerPoint. Now I have a blank slide in here. The next step is to download a add-in for your plugin, which is web viewer. Let's go to the insert tab and in here click on get add-ins and search for web viewer. This is the add-in that you have to download and let's click on add. Uh, okay, I want it. Let's click on continue and it will give you a block in here, which you can uh, paste the link that we've copied earlier in here. Let me paste it and we don't want the HTTPS and at the, the, and the beginning of the link, let's split it. Now let's click on preview. You can see the stream in here. You can close this part and now click on this comment in here. You will have the, you will have your file in your PowerPoint. But let's stick uh, to the video because I want to show you how you can uh, update this model and you can link between this. Okay, now you can see it is great. We have the model in here, but what happens if we update the Revit model? So the good news is, it's not that a big deal. You just need to update your Revit model. For example, let me delete this roof. Okay, I want to delete it. And now let's just go to the send part and send the model again. When the process is done again, you just go to the slides and click on edit and click on preview again. And you have to see the updated results on your PowerPoint slide. Let's close this one and let's open the comment again or latest version again. And now let's see what we have in here. Let's double click in here. And now you can see we have the updated model on our PowerPoint slide. I hope this video has been helpful for you. Make sure to like this video to help us create more tutorials like this. And if you want to learn how to bring your Revit models into Blender, 
make sure to watch this video in here too also you can get access to all of our exercise files on our patreon you can find the link in the description